I keep saying I'm not going to do any more videos until after Christmas, but people keep giving me stuff, so I'm going to do another one here. And I got two really ancient um, postcards up. Well, I got three really ancient postcards, and I got a really ancient comic book that I mailed off years ago, and I got another autograph that I totally forgot about as well. So I'll we'll get out to those really quickly here. Um, I got one that's a huge letter here. Um, from an actress who's no longer, she's just off in a uh, private life now, and I do not have her address. She couldn't not give that to me, and that's quite all right. Um, but uh, I forget, and I totally apologize for getting the name of this show. But this is really neat because it's got Phil Hartman in this picture, and it's got Florence Fishburne that she says was 17 years old. I'm talking about uh, he had to have his parents on set. This is a long letter. I will not read that. And this is from actress Erica Wells. I just thought it was a really amazing picture. I don't even remember how I even got came across this picture, but I thought this was so neat and it printed out actually pretty well. So that's really pretty cool. And like I said, they look like all army guys, GI guys, with her in the middle and being the center of attention right there. I thought that was really cool. So you can look up Erica Wells, A A R I K K Wells, A A R I K A Wells. Okay, neat. And I totally forgot. And then she sent me a Christmas card as well. So that's really neat to have. Very decorative um, calligraphy on the envelope as well. It says, do not bend. The next thing I got here, um, I don't even remember this envelope here. It's got a $2 um, uh, Bobcat stamp or whatever that is. I don't remember sending that a long time ago. And it is from none other than uh, Edward James Olmos. So he signed this. I believe that's... For a second, I thought he would sign the front uh, right there. Isn't that, I, is that him as well? I, I can, this Battlestar Galactica comic book has been through a lot. I, I don't remember what a kind of condition it was, but I was pretty sure it was in better than that. Um, but that's really pretty neat that this has been signed right here. That's really cool. Really, no, that's not ri almost there. That's uh, Richard Hatch. And I think I sent it for this one here, so that's really neat. Uh, Henry, and then he's got a quote there. Uh, sometimes we have to roll the hard six. And Edward James almost. This has been gone for like something like three or four years. I don't know. Um, I'm not even sure where I got this comic book. I think I might have picked it up at, at my first Comic Con. I don't remember. It's all racked up, but I don't really care. I got it. Neat. Completely out of the blue. There it shows up. Uh, the next thing I got in here is a, an order off of the internet. And I got a good deal. I got some sort of shipping deal on these or a discount off on my cards but I will show you what I have here and just to show you that I'm not fooling around with this Gary Lucas PC there is Gary Lucas 1982 top sticker right there and I have the parallel version the 1982 OPG sticker right here awesome and it's in French on the back there then I have Gary Lucas the Nestle card the Nestle cards are moderately rare uh, especially trying to find the Mattingly card there, but the, I bought two of them because they were 99 cents a piece. How could you go wrong with that? And I got, like I said, some sort of shipping discount there from the seller, so that was really cool. And there's both of those. And that's all they had from that particular vendor. And then I got this one here to finish up my Mark and Mindy set, num card number 79. Um, I still need the stickers. I need about four or five stickers, but that's the one that finishes it up. It's not particularly centered well, but Oh well, what can you do? Then I got these for about a dollar a piece. Bob Lennon 1957 tops. It's got, you know, the usual kind of discoloration or something from age, but it's in really good condition otherwise. I mean, probably 15, 20 years ago that might have cost me four or five dollars and was a buck. And then I also have Turk Loan because who wouldn't want a leg kicking Chicago Cubs pitcher like that for a dollar? That's really cool. You could buy one of the huge crease in it for a dollar, and I, who would want that? Then, I'm not trying to horn on a Nate's collection here, um, but I got some Tim Lincecum cards here. And the first one here is this Barry Zito card with Tim, uh, kind of a ghosted image or whatever right there. Uh, shiny foil card. I forgot. This is Co Topps Co-Signers from, I forget what year already. And there's the back of it, but Barry Zito's on the back there. It's number 56 out of 75. I think I paid a whole dollar for that one as well. Then the rest of these are going to be Gary Lucas PC. Well, actually, no, I, I have a few more here. Uh, I will show you this Tim card here. Uh, I forget that was a diamond refractor. This is yeah, diamond, diamond anniversary. 
diamond diamond something or other. I, I've forgotten. My list tells me what, what it is. Uh, the, the seller's list will tell me what that is, so that's really cool. Um, I might get a few more. This was pretty cool. I think this was supposed to be numbered, or it's not, it's it's limited or numbered, but it's not numbered, I think. I'm not sure. This tops chrome here. I could be wrong. Bowman chrome. That's a really neat image with, with the uniform in back. I just thought that was cool. So I grabbed that one little. Okay, and then I got, I think, that was all for that one. Then I, I showed you my 21 Jump Street set, and I got two of the missing cards, because they are not missing cards, but they have the backs on it. There's Holly Robinson's face right there, and then there's the other one with the uh, info card on the back of it. This one's got wax on the back of it, but that's okay. I finished up my set. Now we got a Jeff Burton card here, uh, Person of the Year of NASCAR Illustrated from 2007. I think that might have been when he retired. I'm not sure. No, I think he was still driving. Uh, then we have a Gary Lucas OPG 86 tops. We have Gary Lucas on the Quad City River Bandits. We have Gary Lucas on the Quad City River Bandits from 1993. We have Gary Lucas on the Quad City River Bandits again. We have also Gary Lucas on the Quad City, or Cl sorry, Clinton Giants right there, so that's cool. We have Gary Lucas on uh, All Star for the All Star team uh, minor leagues. Uh, for what uh, it was the Cal League All Star, so that's cool. And then we have Gary Lucas 1988 Tops Tiffany, so you can see the shine there, and then the orange back like the traded, so that's really cool. This card so I don't roll over it. And I forgot one more interesting thing little here. It's a Tim Lincecum uh, Tops Chips or whatever it is, so it's like a poker chip type thing. I think it's Tops Chips. I don't know what year that is. It's not super important right now, but uh, you can see it's just rolling around. That's kind of a weird. And a large top loader there, so I have to figure out somewhere to display that one if I put that in an album. I'm not going to go for all of his cards. I just thought I might pick up a few more numbered ones or something, but that's about it. Pick up a couple of 2010 tops or whatever. And then last but not least, I said I got a Christmas card. Well, from Erica Wells. And then I got a oh. nice little care package that uh, Steve from Carter's Kids had promised me a long time ago. And there's one neat picture here and some really old-time postcards here. I'll start off with the old-time postcards here. And this is uh, from Lynbrook, Long Island on Merrick Road. These have got to be dating back to pretty close to the turn of the previous century here. That's really pretty old. That's a long time ago. Merrick Road, Lynbrook. And then we have another Lynbrook postcard. These must have been um, stored in someone's basement or something. Who knows? These really ancient. Uh, this is a Fountain Inn, some sort of a, uh, uh, what is it? Oh, it's some sort of motel or something. Or, uh, anyway, uh, I'll do some more research on these. Wow, that's quite the old postcard there. And then this one is the uh, railroad station, um, Long Island, Lynbrook. That's pretty neat. There we go. That's probably the more desirable of the three because people collect railroad stuff there. And um, somebody did their their math homework on the back of it. I'm not sure what that's all about. Trying to calculate maybe their train ticket or something. Where those have been all this time, I have no idea. This one is really, this is, uh, looks like a tobacco card because it's probably from that vent time era, period. And the coolest thing besides those, I think, this is an old photograph that says December 1986. So. Somebody had that printed, and probably Steve or somebody had uh, Bud Harrelson sign it, so that's really pretty neat. That was like the very first autograph I ever got through the mail. I sent through some address in a baseball card collector's magazine uh, to the Phillies or something, or one of the teams. No, it was, I don't remember what, what team it was, but it was whatever he was doing. Oh, he was a Philly, I think, before, but I sent maybe to the Mets, and he gave me some sort of a, a card or whatever uh, to go along with my... Uh, Phillies team card or whatever he was on. So this is another neat addition. I like photographs. It's very cool. Thank you, Steve, for those. And I think that's all I have for everybody today. I've got a lot of stuff to put away, a lot to organize. More cards that I want to purchase one of these days, probably the new year. And um, thank you for Nate for uh, getting me hooked on a, maybe a small PC. Not really sure because I wanted to do that a long time ago. And thank you for watching.